Have you ever wondered who the real Willy Wonka was? In this video, we will reveal the story of the poor boy's dream that came true, and he then opened his chocolate factory and lived like a king. We all have seen and heard of the golden ticket from the movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Did you know the character played in the movie Willy Wonka is fictional? The novel was written by Roald Dahl who didn't mention the real person who actually opened a chocolate factory. Today in this video we will tell you that person's name. His name was Milton Snavely Hershey. Milton Hershey was born on the 13th of September 1857 in Derry Township, Pennsylvania. His father Henry Hershey and mother Fanny Hershey were both farmers. Milton's mother was a very strict and disciplined lady, while his father didn't really care. Milton Hershey's family was moving time to time and because of that, he didn't get good education. In today's time, before any parents move out, they always consider their children's schooling first. Milton was very close with his mother. Milton's family lived in great poverty and had to wait all day for Milton's father to bring some money home so they could put food on the table. They were living in a state of hand to mouth. As time went on things started to worsen up in the end Milton's parents were separated when Milton was 10 years old and his father left them. Milton's first job was to work as an apprentice at a printer's press. His main job duty was to help set up each letter for the printing press and then load the paper and ink for the printer to work. Two years in the job, Milton was getting bored and wanted something different. His mother helped him to find another job at a candy shop and he took the role as a new apprentice in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. In 1872 Milton was 14 years old and worked for four years under the instructions of Joseph Royer and he mastered the skills and art of craftsman making candies. At first Joseph didn't feel comfortable sharing the secret ingredients with an apprentice, but Milton's mother insisted Joseph to teach her son and he agreed in the end. He made all sorts of candy including caramels, fudge, and peppermints. He really enjoyed being a candy maker. It was at this point, Milton realized he wants to open his own business and become an entrepreneur. Milton borrowed $150 from his aunt to set his own candy shop in Philadelphia. Milton was ambitious and eager to start his business up and he opened his first shop in the big city of Philadelphia selling candies, nut products, chocolate bars and ice cream. He realized, no matter how hard and the effort he put in, his business wasn't making profit. He then decided to close his business down due to shortage of money and he couldn't invest. Milton had a brave heart and wasn't going to give up soon. Milton moved to Denver in 1882 after closing his business in Philadelphia. Now he decides to work for someone in a candy shop and learn harder what is popular in Denver. He found another candy maker you need to add fresh milk into caramel to make it tasty. In Milton's first business, his father Henry came to support him and his father was known as a failure himself. Milton accepted his father's ideas in the business. For example his father Henry suggested Milton to spend a large amount of money on the window display and make other types of sweets. During 1881, the price of sugar was increasing and Milton was struggling financially. After he mastered the art of using fresh milk in caramel in Denver, Milton again thought of opening his shop in New York. When Milton moved to New York and opened his second candy business that also failed for second time. Throughout his childhood he saw a lot of poverty, days without eating food, his younger sister Serena Hershey died, his parents separated, he didn't have good education. One can only imagine what is running through Milton's mind to become successful in life. Milton, then decides to move back to Lancaster in 1883, after two business failures. Milton now visits his uncle and auntie for another business loan. Milton told him about his experience working at Denver and he has a better business idea of opening a candy shop using fresh milk in caramel. But, in the end his uncle simply refused to lend Milton any money and told him to leave. Milton somehow managed to get help from his former accountant who loaned him enough capital to invest his business again. Milton then worked day and night on making caramel candy with the leftover raw ingredients he had from his previous shop in New York. The knowledge he learnt in Denver using fresh milk and all the ingredients that go in, Milton was able to make the perfect taste of caramel candy and he distributed free samples which people in the city absolutely loved. In 1893, Milton attended the World's Columbian Exposition and he was very impressed with the German chocolate making machinery which he purchased for his business and he began producing different varieties of chocolates. He once again opens a new candy business shop called Lancaster Caramel Company. This was the turning point of his life to become a successful entrepreneur. 
he focused only on specializing in selling caramel candies using fresh milk which he had learned from working in Denver. Using milk guaranteed the caramel to taste delicious, smooth, and longer on the shelf line and it was without a doubt another recipe imagined in those days. This was an exceptional selling point if Milton somehow managed to break into the market with milk-produced caramel candies. He noticed his caramel company was growing and becoming a success. Eventually, he decided to open up new candy-making factories and branches all over the country. He sold the Lancaster Caramel Company for $1 million in 1900. After selling his Lancaster Caramel Company for $1 million, he returned to Derry Church to build a new factory in 1903 and worked hard producing fine milk chocolate which the construction went on until 1905. His factory had the latest technology to mass produce. Chocolate bars and his brand name Hershey's Milk Chocolate became the first nationally recognized brand. Few years he returned to Derry Church to build a new factory. Milton now is a successful businessman. With all the trial and errors he has been through during his failures, he learned so much and couldn't afford to repeat them. It took Milton Hershey years of experimentation to make chocolate with fresh milk. The method of using fresh milk in chocolate was invented by Daniel Peter. In Switzerland in 1875, dark chocolate tastes bitter and Daniel came out with the idea of using powdered milk which would then taste less bitter. The success was great and his brand name Hershey's became the most famous chocolates in the world. Pennsylvania was known for its agricultural area. Hershey Chocolate Factory. He chose this location because it was close to the dairy farms from which his factory would get the milk to create its chocolate. As the year went by Milton then made plans to build comfortable homes for his employees, an inexpensive public transportation system, a quality public school system and cultural opportunities. Milton Hershey was married to Catherine Hershey on May 25, 1898 when they met in Lancaster, Pennsylvania when she came in his candy shop. Unfortunately, Milton and his wife Catherine were not able to have children. Milton was a kind-hearted man and what he went through in his childhood and throughout his teenagehood with all the struggle, he decided to use his millions to invest in a school for orphaned children called the Hershey Industrial School. Milton Hershey never gave up on his desire to become a chocolatier. After decades of failure in his two businesses, Milton didn't become successful overnight nor did his achievements come without their hardship. His first chocolate bar was sold in 1900. If Milton's former accountant William Lebkicker hadn't given him the loan, Hershey would have struggled to open his chocolate factory as his uncle had enough of his business plans and failures. After the death of his wife Catherine, Milton decided to give his entire fortune to the Hershey School Trust. Milton died on the 13th of October 1945 at the age of 88. I hope you enjoyed watching this interesting video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos.